focus on the management at Bajaj Consumer. There were some statements regarding the growth in the business, how they'll move from Almond Keshkala or becoming a very big part of their portfolio. The management is with us. Thank you so much, sir, for taking our time for us. Uh, you have entered the 20,000 crore soap market. It is a highly penetrated market. What is the strategy to enter this competitive space? You're absolutely right. It's a very highly penetrated category. But if you look at, for us, it is not really just the soap launch. Uh, for quite some time, we have been doing research with our consumers to see where our equity lies. And we saw that Bajaj Almond Drops as such has quite a bit of equity in the mind space of the consumer in the personal care space, both in hair and skin care. The consumer research so showed that the equity can be leveraged across other hair care as well as skin care plans. So this is what we have been working for the last uh, six quarters or so. And this is the first foray into that umbrella launch, the first product coming in that umbrella launch. So SOAP is just a part of that larger umbrella portfolio of almond drops and not just the SOAP launch itself. Hi, Mr. Nandi. This is Anisha also joining in the conversation. I take your point, but with the focus to diversify your hair care and skin care category as well, can you tell us what is the market share you're looking at in both these categories? That brings us to uh, two sides of the uh, strategy, if you ask me. So one is in the hair care itself, especially, specifically in hair oils, we wanted to expand our footprint across the other formats of hair oils. So we launched the Amla Aloe Vera about, uh, about one and a half years back. Then we launched the Sarso Amla in the Amla franchise. And then we launched the pure coconut oil as well as the cocoa onion oil, which was uh, light hair oil, the first of its kind in that format, which we launched uh, earlier this year. So with the coconut franchise and the Amla franchise, as well as our light hair oil, uh, almond, we have a decent uh, share of the hair oil portfolio in the addressable market that we are playing. Other than that, as I earlier said, we wanted to also explore as to where all we can extend the almond drops franchise itself, which is uh, used by about six crore customers, six crore households today. We wanted to see where it all, where all it can go, and in terms in the mind space of consumers, as I just said, quite a few hair care formats as well as few skincare formats, they feel that Amand has a right to win as far as Bajaj's offering is concerned. And that's where we are making four as it. Addo is 95% of the profile, which of course is your oil business or rather the almond oil. Uh, but going forward, what is the product mix with the new launches? How are you looking to reduce uh, marginal dependence on that? So if you will look at last year, uh, we were still very heavily dependent on Almond Drops hair oil itself. It contributed to close to 90% of our portfolio. That we expect substantially to change. While our effort will continue on Almond Drops hair oil to continue to increase the franchise for the product, make it relevant to the new age customers. On the other side, we will also, as I said, build our hair oil portfolio, get into the D2C uh, space itself with our two brand launches that we have had, Native Soul, which is a premium personal care range as well as 100% pure. These are the two D2C range, as well as the entire almond drops uh, umbrella portfolio that we are building. So substantially, we feel that in the next three to five years, the almond drops as a hair oil, as a percentage to the overall portfolio will go down. So at least we'll be able to balance our portfolio better and de-risk ourselves. Nandi, but we understand that there was a bit of slower growth, at least in the months of April and May gone by. Could you talk to us how the demand momentum is looking like in Q1 of uh, FI23? So I don't think there is any uh, significant change in the demand situation that is there. I think this has more or less plateaued out. The only positive silver lining we see is that the uh, monsoon uh, is predicted to be good. So we hope that the rural slowdown we saw last year would uh, I think would have bottomed out and we are quite hopeful that with our new product launches, etc., that our top line should see some robust performance in, the, in this year. How is the demand under the rural market? What is the situation on ground? So I think there, uh, uh, there is not too much of changes that we see in the last few quarters. The rural demand did slow down. As you are aware, year before last, the rural performance was fantastic for most companies. So that slowed down last year <clears throat> on a high base. Uh, the rural growth was not there. And I think the stress in rural still remains. Urban is a little better off. But I think overall demand conditions is not the most bound at this stage. 
And Mr. Nandi, before we let you go, wanted to get a sense on the margins as well. Now, though copra prices remain deflationary, there has been relentless inflation in other commodities, the likes of LLP and RMO, etc. And the packaging material also continues to be very expensive. Could we expect pressure on margins going forward on account of all of this? So we clearly see next quarter will also be stress as far as inflationary raw material conditions are concerned. It'll be in this volatile condition, it is very difficult to predict how to pan out over the larger period in the larger second half of the year, but next quarter will remain inflationary. But more importantly, we are not looking so much from the current immediate situation, but more we are looking at more investing in our brands, etc. So we'll still continue to up our marketing investments, invest in some of our new brands so that in the next two, three years, we have some robust top line, which can be then aided with this advertising uh, advertising expense. And by the time the brand's built up, I think the EBITDA numbers will start showing that. Thank you so much, sir. Let's also understand.